Yeah, you can leave up. I tried it for myself. And he won't let you fall. He's a good God. Yeah, he's a good God. Yeah. So I'm say, when your burdens get heavy, you can lean on it. Glory be to God. Father God, we just thank you once and again for being in the midst of your people. And we just thank you for the outpouring of your Holy Spirit this morning. And Father God, we just thank you today for every man one more time. It's in this service today. We thank you for the praise, for the worship. We just thank you right now for being an awesome God. A God that can do all, see all, know all, and a God that's got all power in your hand. And now, Father God, I just ask that I may decrease and that Jesus increase. And oh God, you use me as a mouthpiece to speak your word today. Speak your word to your people. That will remove burdens and destroy yokes. Jesus, I just use 
used the Holy Ghost. Hey. Hallelujah. 
And we're going to pick up the second part of it, living in the overflow. Amen. Yeah, tell your neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor. Or neighbor. We supposed to be living in the overflow. Come on, get to get 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 God a hand Yeah, we supposed to be living in the overflow. Glory to God. And uh, the word of God is so good, and the Bible is so rich in telling us uh, who we are in Christ. And what it means to be born again. Yeah. What it means to be born again. What it means to be a, a new creature. Hallelujah. And and glory be to God. That that's the thing. When Jesus came and went to Calvary and gave his life, suffered and died. Hallelujah. To be he was the scripture say he was Wounded for our transgression. Come yeah. our sins, our shortcomings, our fault. Our sins, our shortcomings, our fault. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Hallelujah. And by his stripes, yeah, we were here. Hallelujah. He all this he did for us. He did for us because Satan had us bound. Amen. Because of Adam's sin. He had us bound and you know, the curse was upon, upon the earth and upon every man. Hallelujah. But Jesus came to get rid of that curse. And to get us back in the right standing with God. Amen. Get us back in the family of God. Hallelujah. And, and the scripture said that the thief come to steal, kill, and destroy. Any kind of way he can. And you hear so much now about priests molesting children. Older folks molesting children. Older women molesting young boys. You know, and, 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 and have them growing up mentally affected by this. But thank God Jesus came to get our mind back right. Jesus died so that we could die. He said in, in 3 John 2, I wish above all things that you're possible and be in good health. Even as your soul prosper in your mind. See, and though be God, he made a way for us to get our spirits saved. Amen. 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 But this old flesh in the body, we got to train it Amen. when we get born again to get back lined up with our new Christian God-like spirit. And we got to get our mind back right. See. See, we got to get our mind right. And, 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 and what happened with most of us, we grew up while our parents didn't have enough. Our parents didn't have enough. We never have enough. Most of us just grew up barely getting by. Sometimes living from paycheck to paycheck. And born again, saved, filled with the Spirit. But thank God for the word of God in revelation. Thank God for the Holy Ghost in that Bible giving us revelation of what God meant Amen. with this new life in Christ. What we saved from. See, we've been saved. In Galatians 3.13, the Bible tells us that Jesus redeemed us. Yeah. Amen. He redeemed us from the curse. Amen. Out of that lack. Sickness, disease. Spiritual death, hellfire. He redeemed us in, the, in Galatians 3.13. He redeemed us from the curse of the law. Being made a curse for us by hanging on that tree. Because curse is in the man hanging on the tree. He became a curse for us and died and removed that curse. Why? So that the blessing of Abraham could come upon us as well as the Jews, anybody else. So that, and see now that we in Christ, we live in abundance of the blessing. Amen. Somebody say the blessing of Abraham is upon me. And God made a covenant with Abraham that he was going to bless him so that he could be a blessing in Genesis 12. And that's the way he wants that blessing to work in our life. He wants us to live in overflow and have more than enough. 
so that we can be a blessing. Amen. Come on, somebody say so we can buy somebody else someday. Amen. Yeah, so we can buy somebody else a suit or a dress. Amen. Come on. Amen. So we can get the gospel out. God wants us to have more than enough. Amen. See, it's, 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 it's three different kind of lanes. Satan want to keep us on the land of not enough. Amen. Where you're bad to get back. Can't live from paycheck to paycheck. You're broke. You can't pay your bills. Right. See? But, and, and then he'll let you go sometime into a land of just enough. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can make it from paycheck to paycheck. But God wants you to live in that land of more than enough. Somebody say, more than enough. That's what he means by abundant life. When he say, say uh, that's what abundant means. Abundant means more than enough. It means that you got enough to pay your tithes. You got enough to pay your offering. And then you got enough to give into the kingdom and bless somebody else. Hallelujah. But we've been living in that land of not enough so long until we got that mind, our mindset. That I that I that I ain't got enough, I can't get enough, and you know, I'm gonna miss Peter and pay Paul this month. And give me a dollar, I ain't got none. <laughs> Amen. But the Lord wants us to be able for every good purpose. To have something to give. Amen. And especially this last day, when you got so many people not saved. He wants us to be able to put into the gospel and get the message out who we are in Christ. Get the message out that we are God children. Get the message out that God loves us. Amen. 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 I heard somebody talk another day about. It. God had put that sickness on you. But see, that's the kind of way Satan messed your mind up. It's, 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 if people think, well, I, I shouldn't have been uh, doing this, and because I did that, God put this on me. No, you did it and opened that door up. You shouldn't have been doing it, but Satan the one who put it on me. Amen. Because he couldn't still kill in the start. Amen. Amen. But God wants us to get our mindset to this abundant life Amen. so that we can be, so that he can bless us and that we can be a blessing. Amen. So for the glory of God upon earth. We, we, all of us in here have been chosen by God. Amen. What that first Peter 2 and 9? It said that God chose us. Then we are a chosen generation. Amen. He called us out of darkness Amen. into his marvelous light. He picked and chose us. What would he pick and choose? And then when he pick and choose us, when we come into the family of God, we come into royalty. Hallelujah. Come on now, we come into royalty. We ain't got no poor king. He, he is king of king. Amen. You know, we read this in the Bible, but let's wrap our mind around this. Amen. God is God is almighty God. Elves should die. Amen. Yes. Amen. And he is king of kings. And we and, and in uh, Romans 8, 16, it says that the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. Amen. Come out the Holy Spirit. Yes. He bear witness with our spirit in Romans 8, 16, the, who we are. Once we accept Christ, Amen. we become children of God. Amen. We become heirs of God. Amen. We got an inheritance Amen. now. Oh, yeah. We become heirs of God and join him with Jesus Christ, Amen. our brother. Amen. We, we born again. Oh, yeah. We have become a new creation. Amen. We turn our way to the same old, same old now. Things that we used to not work for us is working now. Amen. Why? It says in, in Ephesians 3.20 that I, God, 
is able to do exceedingly and abundantly. Hallelujah. Yeah. And above anything. Y'all listening to me. That's in the mouth. That's in your mouth. If you got one. Yeah. Now that your God can do everything. Exceedingly, abundantly, above anything you can ask him for. Amen. I even ask him for. Amen. I say, well, Lord, they're talking about this kidney disease. Heal these kidneys. Mm. But you know what? Amen. My God is able yes, yes, yes. to do exceedingly, oh, yes. abundantly, Amen. above anything I can ask him. I think to ask him about the end of my body. Let's see it just according to my faith. What I believe they can do. Amen. And I believe they. And I believe I'll stand here one day and testify about the goodness of the Lord. And how he did exceedingly and abundantly above anything I can act about healing King. Amen. Brother Tyrone say doctors telling him about they had to do all this and this and that. And when they went in, God had done the bill. And then she left. Amen. I was talking about our God. Amen. He's able to think that. But we gotta get our mind. We got to renew our mind. Romans 12, 2 say, don't be conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Renewing your mind to what this Bible say you are. Renewing your mind to what this Bible say you can do. Renewing your mind to what this Bible say you can have. Renewing your mind to who this Bible say you are. Amen. We the child of the king. A peculiar people, a chosen people. Yes, Something about us is different from the world. Amen. People wonder why we don't do what they do. Because heaven is our home. We're from yes, another. Lord. Somebody said, I'm, I'm, I'm out of this world. Yes. Amen. Amen. Since I've been born again. I'm in this world, but I'm not of it. Yes. I'm just a pilgrim and a stranger. Amen. Passing through. Yes. Trying to make it home. Hallelujah. Now heaven is my home. Yes, Lord. Glory be to God. Amen. But while I'm on this earth, I'm going to live life and I'm going to live more abundantly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. And the Lord say, this abundant life. In order for us to live this abundant life, and Isaiah, and Isaiah 119, Isaiah 119, yeah, the Lord said, in Isaiah 119, that if you be willing and obedient, you'll eat the good of the land. But what happened to so many of God's children while they barely getting by? While they stepping from paycheck to paycheck? Why they ain't never got enough? If they not willing to serve the Lord. Amen. Ain't willing to do what the Lord tells them to be. And they not obedient. And it's just like a father with his children. He can't I uh, heard Brother Bill say, the devil can't book the Lord, the Lord ain't going to bless no man. Amen. You got to be obedient Amen. to his word. Amen. And then one, in, in order to be in the overflow, let's look at Malachi 3 and 10. Amen. This is the foundation of living in the overflow, y'all. Malachi 3 and 10. How many of y'all want to live in the overflow? Amen. Amen. Oh, folks, you say if you want the Lord to bless you, you got to do what he say. Amen. You can't do it your way, but you got to do it God's way. Amen. Now, I don't know about nobody else, but 
But I'm going to live in overflow. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what God tells me to do. Yeah. And in Malachi 3.10, he said, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse. That did knock most church folks out right there. That did knock them out right there. They might as well go home. Can't go no further. Yeah. And see, the tithes, y'all, is 10% of everything that comes in your house. Yeah, it's just Bible. It's just God's way of doing things. Amen. And now that we're born again, uh, Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Amen. Tell my God's way of doing things. Amen. Yeah. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And what else? Huh? And his righteousness. And all these other things gonna be added. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And what else? Huh? And his righteousness. And all these other things gonna be added unto you. Amen. Amen. That's in Matthew 6 chapter. And seeking the kingdom first and doing things God's way. Amen. The first thing, the foundation. It's tithing. It's tithing. Giving, first thing is obedience. Amen. Second thing is tithing. Because it belongs to God. Amen. God gives us everything that come in our hearts. It comes from the Lord. We might not thank Him for it. Amen. I think we work for it and we earn it or whatever, however you want to think about it. But the Lord bless you with it. Yes, he did. And 10% of that, He said, give it back to Him. Bring it to the church. Well, the church got more money than I got. Church got to deal. Church got to do upkeep. Church got to pay notes. Church got to upgrade. Right now, we need a parking lot. Pay. And I'm just believing God that before one of them, amen, we start tithing and put them ties together and pay that parking lot. Come on, let's give God some praise. I can feel the cloud, that's already good. That people don't start tithing and pay this part. Amen. But he said, bring ye all the tithe into the storehouse. Why? That there may be meat in my house. That's what God said. Well, we can, what he can do with that, what he want to do with the church house. Amen. So there be meat in my house. And look at him. Said the Lord of hope. And see if I will not open you the windows of heaven. Amen. He talking about opening up your windows of heaven and pouring you out a blessing that there shall not be. Come on now, how many y'all believe about it? It won't be room enough. Amen. For you to receive all of it. You have to do like 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 Sister Kim did. She went to make rosary and had overflow. Had to bring me some up. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah, got overflow. Got too much. Yeah. But that's the foundation. He said try. I don't know who that's for. But he said try and see. Amen. Now most of this church tired. But but you still got a few that don't trust God. No. Only reason they don't tie, they don't trust God. And tithing is is obedience, is trusting, and is honoring God. Amen. And what God does when we tithe, He multiplies. Amen. He takes that tithing. Things come in my life and I know it's because of the time. It's because of the time. Amen. There's a boy come up there the other day with a new truck. First thing he said, I tithe. <laughs> you know, it's just, God said, just try. 
Amen. And it works. It. Anybody who, who have died faithfully can, 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 can witness to that. Amen. And he, 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 he opened up the one seven and told you how to bless him. But you won't have room enough to receive. Now these things are to get us to change our mindset from not enough to just enough to more than enough. Amen. Amen. And we're doing it for a reason. In Deuteronomy 8, 18, it says that it is God who gives us power to get well. Amen. Amen. God gave it to us in Deuteronomy 8, 18. He gave us the power to get the well. Why? So that he can establish his covenant in the earth. He wants this gospel to go out all around the world. He wants us to be a blessing to other churches. He wants us to be a blessing to missionaries. He wants us to be a blessing in our community. Amen. Amen. He wants us, he wants us, he wants to bless us so that we can be a blessing. Amen. 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 Glory Amen. be to God. Yeah. Now, okay, in 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians 9 and 8. 2 Corinthians. Boy, we're breaking the devil back today. Amen. It's going to be some blessed folks in here. It's going to be some tithing folks and blessed folks. And it's going to be blessing some people. Hallelujah. Yeah, 2 Corinthians 9 and 8. Well, nine and six. Man. Now, this is for the people pictures. He said, but this I say, he would so sparingly, huh? They're going to reap all so sparingly. We're breaking the devil back. We're breaking the devil back. You don't give but a little bit. That's all you're going to get back. Yeah, he went so sparing, but first, you got the time. See, you ain't, you ain't give no offering. Offering is above the time. Offering, when he started pouring out the witness. That's what we're talking about, putting seed, putting, planting seed. Amen, sowing seed. Come on. See, we didn't, when I come up, preachers ain't preach like that. Amen. They preach about paying dues to the church. Five dollar dues. In the church, they all have enough to keep the lights on. Couldn't take care of nobody. But, the, but we are, then we, we got another preacher who understood about the time. And he was blessed and the church got blessed. Amen. Then we got a revelation on the offering. Offering this, I want you to pay your time now. We sow and seed in other good ministries. And God multiplies to see you sow. And it's simple. You give a little, you're going to get back a little. But when you sow abundantly, you're going to get back abundantly. Somebody say, trust in God. Trust in God. Being obedient. But he said, now, according to your heart, let it be. He don't want you to give him nothing. Like one woman give a tie and then want it back. <laughs> he don't want the grudge. Yeah, some folk, boy, they, they be turning that money loose into the church and almost about to break their break the hand. But he, he wants you to give it freely. Give it knowing, amen. When I give, I know I'm going to get blessed. I know it's coming back. Amen. It ain't like I'm giving it and ain't going to get it back. Amen. But I'm going to give it back. Scripture say, Luke 6, 38 to 36 say, Give and this shall be given back to you. Good men. Yeah. Press down. Yeah. Shaking together. Yeah. And running over. Yeah. Yeah. Shall men give back unto you books. Amen. You can't, I don't know the old Christian, they knew that. They, 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 they fell out. Say, so you can't be God. Can't be no matter how. Amen. 
When you give this, you don't give that. He, he sold me in a vision one night that as our tithe and offerings went up, as quick as you set it up, he sent it back down. Mother, multiply it. Multiply it. Glory to God. Somebody say tithe. Tithe. Yeah, tithe. And we'll be living in the overflow. Yes, thank God. Thank God. Now, one more scripture. And he tells us so in uh, Psalms 35. Psalm 35 and 27. Yeah, Psalm 35. And listen, tithing. Well, when, when it's time to tie it off, that should be one of the happiest times in the service. Amen. Amen. Why? Because now you 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 finna open up the windows of hell. Amen. You now it's your time to plant your time and give your off and watch God. Amen. Do His thing. Amen. You can believe in for a new car. You start tying it off. Start sowing them seeds. You've been believing for a house. You just start telling, trying God. Tell God say try me and see. Yeah, amen. It, it worked for me. And I know it'll work for some have worked for some of the rest of it. Amen. It's Psalm 35. Now watch this. 35, 27. That's still like that. Trying to escape. Yeah. And the Lord said, He said, Let them shout for joy. Amen. Who? Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. And what's his call? Everybody be glad. And get this gospel out. Yea, let them say continually. If they let the, the Lord be magnified. Who have pleasure in the prosperity of his Savior. Amen. 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 Come on, let's shout for joy. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, shout for joy. And I got more than enough. Hallelujah. Come on. I'm living under the blessing. Come on, I'm living under the blessing. Come on, confess this. Confess this. Let the words go up. He gave me an overflow. I hope y'all kept out from last week. The ones who don't have a confession. Look, these confessions bringing into existence. Amen? Now, confess this with me. I'm living in the overflow. I have a surplus of prosperity. I have more than enough. I am blessed beyond me. My cup is running over. I am furnished in abundance. I receive multiple streams of income. My storehouses are full and overflowing. Now if you ain't got a savings account, you need to open one. I want 
once you start tithing off and you're going to need a storehouse. Hallelujah. Yeah. I am increasing more and more. It's flood state. The floodgates of heaven are open. And the blessing is pouring out. There's not enough room to contain it all. I am experiencing the blessing overflow in Jesus' name. Amen. Put the man together. are blessed, but God wants us to be blessed for young men. Amen. 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 But not for selfish uh, want. Amen. But he wants us to be blessed so that we can bless somebody else. Brother Greg, bless us with a house so we can bless somebody else. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's where God works through us. Amen. Amen. He's looking for a vessel Amen. who will have faith in him. Amen. 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 And see, when you look good, guess what? That make God look good. Amen. I go to work and have my cold stars and press looking clean. Oh and more folks come in there looking like they just got my water to yeah. and, and, and they be looking. You come, you come, you come with your clothes start to nine every day. That's God. That's God. God want me to look good. He want me to look good. I'm supposed to show forth the glory of God in my name. I'm supposed to show the blessing of the Lord. I'm his child. I don't want my child to go out in rags. Who my daddy? I want them to look good. It's going to make me look good. Amen. 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 He said, I'll make you the head and not the tail. Come on, somebody said, I'm the head and not the tail. I'm a bad owner and not the knee. I'm blessed going in and I'm blessed going out. Everything I put my hand to is Jesus name. Come on. I'm left. I'm left. Thank God I'm blessed. Thank God I know I'm blessed. I get up every morning and walk around and I thank God for the blessing. I thank Him for my health, my strength, my family, my children, for life. I thank Him that I'm blessed. Hallelujah. And guess what happened? When you appreciate the little blessing, he gave you more. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Appreciate it where you're at. And then he'll bless you some more. He'll continue to promote you. Oh, God. Now somebody today might not be living in an overflow. But we're going to believe God. We're going to believe God that today is your day. That today is your day. Hallelujah. And you need prayer. You need some prayer. We're going to be here to pray for you. Hallelujah. That you come on up where he wants you to be at. We're going to pray for you. And then somebody else might just need prayer. Standing in the need of prayer. For a family member. God says the prayer of the righteous of them. Prayer of the righteous of them. And you need the church to agree with you in prayer and need you in prayer. For whatever you need. If you need if you experience a sickness, or you experience a financial problem, honey, trouble on your job, trouble in your home, we hear the prayer. Agree with you in prayer 